Hi, my name is Jeremy Taylor. I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer at Somax Bioenergy. We're excited to tell you about our innovative project at the Borough of Phoenixville Wastewater Treatment Plant. In partnership with the Borough, we've engineered and designed a cutting edge carbon recovery platform that utilizes hydrothermal carbonization as the cornerstone technology. This project will turn the negative economics and energy use of the wastewater treatment plant on its head, converting it into an energy producing, revenue generating resource recovery facility. Water resource recovery facilities purchase about $2 billion of electricity each year, which is around 3 to 4% of our national energy demand. The disposal of residual biosolids from water treatment is another significant cost for municipalities, and it's steadily increasing. While we recognize that there are nutrients in biosolids, we also recognize the pollution that occurs with land application, such as with PFAS, pharmaceuticals, and microplastics. But hey, don't take it from me. My name is Jonathan Ewald. I have the honor of serving as council president for the borough of Phoenixville in Chester County, Pennsylvania. The borough of Phoenixville is roughly four square miles with a population of 17,000 residents. We still own and operate our own water treatment, wastewater treatment, and sanitation in terms of trash and recycling hauling. As a former steel town, Phoenixville has experienced dramatic revitalization over the last 15 years, resulting in a revitalization of our downtown and a growing population. In 2017, Phoenixville Borough became the first municipality in Pennsylvania and 44th in the country to adopt the Ready for 100 pledge, with a goal of transitioning to clean energy by 2035. As part of the 2035 pledge, the borough completed an energy assessment of all the borough's assets. The wastewater treatment plant is the single largest consumer of energy in the borough's portfolio. Like many wastewater treatment plants, the borough has seen an increase in hauling and disposal fees. As landfills in the region begin to reach capacity and land application becomes more difficult, the borough expects disposal costs to continue to rise. In 2018, the borough council was approached by Dan Spracklin with a technology called hydrothermal carbonization, or HTC for short. HTC turns wet organic wastes into an energy dense, carbon neutral solid fuel. Pairing HTC with gasification allows for carbon neutral base load distributed energy. At capacity, the SOMAX solution will cover over 150% of the wastewater treatment plant's energy demand, helping the borough reach its 2035 goal. The SOMAX HTC solution is a technology that can easily be replicated to improve economics, energy efficiencies, and resource recovery at wastewater treatment plants across the country. Having worked with the SOMAX team over the last four years, since the initial HTC presentations, the SOMAX team has demonstrated their technical expertise and ability to educate the staff, council, and community at large about this cutting edge resource recovery technology. Despite the challenges of 2020, SOMAX and Fiendsville have stayed on schedule to implement this technology by Q1 of 2022. Once the HTC plant is commissioned, the borough is working to adapt an adjacent former school as a STEM education center, focusing on HTC, renewable energy, and sustainable practices. Our partnership with SOMAX will allow Phoenixville to further expand this scalable technology and become a regional hub for resource recovery to process sewage, food waste, and other organic wastes, capturing and utilizing carbon in the form of clean, renewable baseload energy.